Happy Thursday. How you doing? I'm laughing about something that happened last night. I can't take a lot of time here. I got a very busy schedule at the VTH. It's early. It's like I'm up at 5 a.m. every day anyway. It's like 5.45 right now. I'm going to be leaving in about a half hour. I'll stop at Dunkin' first, grab four dozen donuts to bring for people. Um, I we'll probably won't be getting home until about after 7 tonight. It's okay. I don't mind at all. So anyway, so I got to be kind of quick. Uh... <laughs> I had mentioned yesterday about things that people have told me, things people ask me, you know. <laughs> I find it funny. Uh, and I gave a couple of answers to a couple of things yesterday. <laughs> and I've been asked those things often, believe it or not. I've been asked that periodically, you know. Not by the same people, you know, just different people that come along. They have the same thing on their mind. And, uh, Anyway, last night, we're here, and I got a call. I'm talking to my friend. We're talking about this, that, the other thing. And he goes, A.B., hey, can I ask you something? All right, he goes, uh, actually, you know, you're stepping on a lot of people's toes lately, aren't you? <laughs> and I said, what makes you say that? So, Man, things you've been talking about since New Year's, you know? You get into the live stream thing, you know, people that are fucking pigs and slobs and no fucking class jamming food in their mouth while they're yakking on a live stream with their face on the camera and spitting on the floor. Another guy that, you know, proves that we do have a mental health problem in this country, you know, and I stop my well, him, you know, yeah. Uh, leave him alone. You know, he can't help the way he is. He's, he has issues, you know. Leave, leave it alone, you know. Uh, he can't help being what he is in his wife's situation. So, anyway, this isn't talking about, uh, you know, people attention starved and all their new and improved engineering wizardry that only they know how to do the carburetors and heads and this and that and the other thing. I said, hey, what's, what's the fucking problem? She says, well, you haven't mentioned any names, but I'm quite sure they know who they are, I said. Yeah, so what's the fucking problem? <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. You know, I'm stepping on their toes. I think I'm hurting their feelings. <laughs> I can't do anything about that, but I can help them out with their toe, with their toe issue. You know, if I'm stepping on their toes too hard, they can jump online. I'm quite sure there are stores, malls in the area where they sell steel-toed work boots, steel-toed work shoes. They even have steel-toed dress shoes. You know, in the auto industry, even at a lot of major garages around here, any place that's reputable, you know, it's a requirement. You're not going to go in and be pulling a transmission, pulling heads, pulling an intake, doing this, putting in starters, water pumps, this, that, the other thing, unless you're wearing steel-toed shoes. And it's not so, so much in case you drop something, a battery, you know, a simple fucking starter. A starter can weigh a few pounds. You walk with that, it slips out of your hands, comes down on your foot, you mash your fucking toes, it'll help protect you. And besides that, there are things in the floor. You pulled an engine, now it's sitting on the fucking floor. You pulled the transmission, it's sitting on the fucking floor. You're going to get something. You put a battery down, you come back. You can. There are many big rolling tool chests that you're bringing over to a car you're working on. You can walk by and whack that with your foot and break your fucking toes. It, you know, a lot of places, it's a requirement. You know, some places will even provide you with a, a prepaid around here, a place like that. They have wing, uh, wing shoes up in Dartmouth. I know a lot of the industry, when you get hired, they give you a certificate. The company pays for it. You go there and you get a pair of steel-toed workers and they give you like two pairs a year. They figure they're gonna get worn out and sold, you know? So these guys, you know, can go get a pair of steel-toed work boots or work shoes. That way it'll keep their toes, you know, from getting crushed by me. Personally, I think it's not their toes. It's their poor little feelings, you know? And, uh, you know, someday they ever actually do some real fucking work around any of their garages or shops. So, you know, they carry and head over to a bench to show how this guy's going to cut it up and re-weld it again. Should happen to slip and fall because it's oily and greasy. He comes down on his foot. Keep his toes safe. You know what I mean? Sanford drops another battery when he goes to revisit another stick welder revival battery. I hear he's rehashing all this shit over and over and over again. Pick, pouncing on EVs again. Uh, picking apart cars. Uh clones and giving his opinions on what's good, what's not good. You know, typical yak. But every now and then he shows a part of something, you know. 
you know, it'll keep all their toes safe from any work that they should actually do, you know. So you probably won't, but they're going to keep the spoil in a pot here and there on occasion and yak about it. And then it ends up going back in the fucking junk pile they took it out of when they got the idea of, hey, I'll make a video yakking about this. That thing's been sitting there for four fucking years. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll yak about how I'm going to do, uh, you know, a valve job on it. It's only I can do it. Nobody else can do it as good as me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and keep their little toes from getting crushed by Uncle Brian. Oh, I did see something fucking hysterical. I'm looking at the time. I really got to go. I'm going to get this in quick. You know, I see what goes on here. I scroll what's trending. I don't watch this shit. But I see, you know, you get a general idea what's going on. You know? There's one video. It was a parody. A couple of guys. I don't know who the fuck they are. Maybe I should start checking them out. They're parody mechanics. And they do the most fucked up shit on purpose. For laughs. You know? And, uh... <laughs> They were doing all kinds of fucked up shit. shit. Sanford would probably fucking do when I think about it. But they actually did something that Sanford really did. I fucking started roaring. And here's the proper way to install a, a cam. Fucking blocks on a fucking stand. The guy's got the fucking cam. He's trying to get it in. It won't go in. He grabs a fucking five pound fucking hand switch. He's pounding the fuck out of the end to whack it into the fucking block. Sanford actually did that. I should have left a comment and said, hey, I know a guy that actually did that. <laughs> <laughs> on here. You know Sanford did that? That fucking dude's GTX, the blue one, the 426 Hemi. Sanford did a video when he wasn't around trying to get the cam and he was, wasn't bright enough to realize the fucking end cap was too big. They got different size end caps, you know. <laughs> end cap was the wrong end cap on it. Got it jammed in there. Instead of just fucking getting it out and evaluating the situation. He knows how to diagnose shit, you know, on a fucking yak session. He couldn't diagnose that right in front of his fucking face. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait a minute. This is the wrong end cap. No. He, he grabbed the... How many of you remember? That was fucking hysterical. He's pounding the fuck out of it to try to get it in the block. I guess the guy saw that video. Maybe, you know, I, I think like two days later, that car was gone. That guy wants nothing to do with Sam, but that car will never, ever go anywhere near any of his garages, sheds, storage lockers. He wants nothing to do with Sam, but after he saw what Sam did to his fucking engine, to his cam. And he spent some good money on that fucking engine. Anyway, that's about it for today. I really have to go. There was something else I heard. I'll get to it if I can think of it. Uh, I'll get to that tomorrow for my uh, Happy Friday Week in Review Roundup video. So until then, have a great day, have fun, and stay safe.